Hi, hello everybody, I'm Thekla Petridou. Today it's Friday the 31st of January 2020 and today's video in English is about unfounded accusations and jealousy. I've received an email from a gentleman who is watching our channel and my videos in English especially, which I read to you right away. Hi Thekla, hi. Please, may you speak about unfounded accusations? To be more specific, in a relationship or a friendship, one party may accuse the other of infidelity or of being a bad friend. I am of course referring to accusations which have no basis in fact. There is a saying in Greek that a thief or a liar thinks everyone else is a thief or a liar. Could it be that we project your own, our own undesirable attributes into others? Onto others, it could be, it could be. Also, please, may you speak about the mindset of people who accuse others of jealousy or who believe that everyone is jealous of them? Huh. Are such people themselves the ones who have envy or jealousy inside them? Do they think they are better than others? Thank you and kind regards. Well, this is a very short email, um, which... Um, um, gives me the opportunity to talk about uh, projection, the um, defense mechanism of, of projection, which of course is a subsidizing defense mechanism. You can refer to last week's video where I spoke about healthy and subsidizing defense mechanisms. And everything that uh, our viewer asks and writes, it's all about projection. Unfounded accusation, accusations, when somebody comes and tells you, either your partner or a friend, they say to you, I am sure that you cheated on me. And you haven't. You haven't even thought of cheating on him or on her. But they are very sure that you did and they accuse you of it. How do you perceive this? How do you perceive that your partner, for example, in this, exa in this example, that your partner is absolutely sure that you are able of cheating. Might that be because he himself or she herself are able of cheating and they are already che cheating you? It is true that if something um, we do, for example, if I'm a cheater or if I'm a liar or if I'm a thief, I consider very natural that all people around me are the same because we see, our, we see the society through our own eyes. Self-perception is very important in understanding other people's behavior. For example, we, we tend to expect or to believe this fantasy that everybody thinks the same way we think or have the same feelings we have, or have the same motives that we have. So yes, it's, it's very likely that if somebody is, um, is uh, convinced that you might be cheat on him or her, or that you might do something bad, it's, highly po it's, li it's very likely, it po it's possible that they do it, or they might have done it, or they might do it in the future themselves. We cannot know for sure, but it's highly possible. And um, it, it's, I'm going to stand a little bit in the position of the accused party. It's really bad. It's a really bad situation when you are being accused of something that you haven't even thought of doing or thought how you haven't even been tempted to do. I think that all of us, everybody who watches this video, every person alive <laughs> who, who has had relationships with other people, they've been in that position. It's a bad position. It's, it's not a nice position to be in, to be wrongly accused because you get a lot of frustration and you get a lot of sadness and you feel that uh, the other person do not trust you and they do not and they think of you as, as someone who can do these terrible things and you feel that there is injustice as well. 
Um, it is possible, what you ask, that we, we can project our own undesirable attributes onto others. There is this book, which I, re- I read a decade ago, which has the, the title, the, um, the Dark Side of Light Chasers. This book um, is written uh, from an inspirational speaker, uh, let me find this book online, and uh, I, I think you can buy it online. It's the dark side of light chasers. And this book made incredible impression on me. Yes, the dark side of the light chasers. It's a book written by Debbie Ford. Can you see this? The Dark Side of, of the Light Chasers, Reclaiming Your Power, Creativity, Brilliance and Dreams. As I said before, Debbie Ford is an inspirational speaker in, in the US and she wrote this book because she tried to understand herself why she doesn't like some people instantly. Some people that they have done nothing to her. And she realizes in this book and she talks about her experience that she doesn't like some people on the first glance because they might have some attributes that she has and she doesn't like or that she thinks that she might have or possess or that she had in the past she stopped um, uh, doing those uh, bad uh, deeds or uh, she stopped exercising those bad attributes but she still feels or fears that she might do it again so the way we perceive other people is through our eyes and our eyes know, first of all, ourselves. So um, it's possible, it's highly, highly likely what you say, that um, uh, the people who accuse you wrongly uh, do that out of projection. And the second question is about people who are convinced, they are convinced that everybody is jealous of them. And it's really funny sometimes because, okay, uh, I don't like being judgmental and as a psychologist, I shouldn't be. And I try not to be uh, most of the time. Uh, And of course, um, back uh, when I was uh, seeing people in my private office, I restrained myself really hard not to be judgmental. But sometimes, come on, you are with people in a group, you go out on an outing, and you see somebody in the group that um, is not better than everybody than, than anybody else in that group. It's uh, somebody who's nothing special. Of course, it's nothing bad with not being special, okay? <laughs> because being, being special brings a lot of heartache. It's not a good thing to be special, but you see people that they say, oh, everybody, Everybody's jealous of me. My friends are jealous of me. Uh, my neighbors are envious of me. And you see them and you say, what for? What for? You, 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 they, 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 do not, um, they do not strike out in any way. Um, usually, usually, um, what I mostly um, uh, faced in my life is people who are um, exceptional people Exceptional people in the grounds of being hardworking, being polite, being kind-hearted, being spiritual beings, people that were beautiful inside out, which were victims of jealousy and envy by other people around them, but they wouldn't realize it. They wouldn't believe that other people in their environment or their classmates or their siblings or their parents or... Um, their lovers might be jealous of them because they themselves would never be jealous of anybody. So they thought, I wouldn't be jealous of anybody, so why would other people be jealous of me? Uh, That's the opposite of of what you have encountered. Uh, People who uh, are obsessed that other people are jealous of them, where is... Whereas that not, this is not the case. And you ask me if this is 
um, uh, something that comes from a place that because they are jealous of other people or because they are envious of other people, they are um, sure that other people are jealous or envious of them. Yes, that might be the case. Also, what might also be the case is that they might be very um, self-consumed or they might have a very, very high expectations about themselves or they think of themselves in a way that is not uh, so realistic. So um, a piece of advice, when other people in your environment accuse you of unfounded accusations, they wrongly accuse you, you try to explain to them that this does not, this is not the case. If you experience that people um, continue falsely accusing you, then my friend, you need to cut, sever, sever the ties with these people. Because we have a lot of stuff of our own to deal with, we do not want to deal with other people's um, projections onto us. You agree? Have a nice weekend everybody. See you next Friday with a new video in English on my YouTube channel. Please, if you like the video, uh, press like, share it with your friends. Bye!